Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 25th of the Lead Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, 2316, count unreachable pairs of nodes in an undirected graph. Okay, that's a mouthful. Uh, hope everyone's having a great week oh, and or having a... a the beginning of a good weekend. Uh, let's kind of think about, let's actually read the problem and see what it's, wait, 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 wait. let's read the problem is what I mean to say. Uh, okay, so we have end nodes and an undirected graph. Um, you have edges, okay. We turn the number of pairs of different nodes that are unreachable from each other. Okay. Um, that's kind of interesting, possibly. Let's kind of see. Um, I mean, this is so actually. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think I got it. Uh, I wanted to. Say, so I, I just want to be um, kind of full disclosure, a bit of a transparent, because I didn't articulate it out loud because I think I, you know, was just talking about it. Um, so my first initial thought was okay, right? I mean, some of it is maybe because yesterday we did a connected component problem as well, so maybe that's a little bit of like a, a inception type thing, um, but definitely. You see a graph, and then it becomes okay. If if what makes a node unreachable to uh, from another, right? Well, that means that you know it's just connected components in a way. And then my initial thought was, especially looking at this example too, was that okay. Well, um, if that's the case, then we just uh, brute force the number of connected components, and then maybe you know you have a frequency table of. Um, how many nodes is in each connected component, and then you do like some uh, c square c being the number of connected components uh, algorithm over that, and then I thought, okay, well, if ten n is equal to ten to the fifth, then that's still going to be too slow because you can imagine that there's no edges, and then you'll just be like n square anyway, and that's too slow. And then I immediately thought, okay, there's a simpler problem, right? Um, and that simple problem is just instead of calculating the number of nodes that are unreachable from the current node, it's the number of nodes that are reachable, or the other way around. Or it's equal to the number of total nodes minus the number of reachable nodes, right, including itself. And then from that, it, it should be just straightforward to figure that out, right? Um, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. And that's basically the idea uh, of, of how I want to explain it. And I wanted to try and talk that through because I think that's pretty much it, really, to be honest. But also, like, I think it, went, it, it happened in my head pretty quickly that I wasn't able to, um, you know, usually I talk about what I'm thinking as I go on, but this one just happened a little bit fast. Uh, maybe, like I said, maybe some of it is inception from, uh, uh, inception from yesterday's farm a little bit. I mean, though, how, how many, I don't know, how many things can you think of when they talk about reachability, right? I don't know. Okay, let's, let's get started. Um, so first of all, um, and maybe I could have just copy and paste from yesterday, but this is this part is still going to be the same, and that is that um, we want to create the JSONC list. Oops. No, what, what language am I using? <laughs> Uh, basically, we're creating a JSONC list, and someone might also notice that I like I just like using big N, small N confuses me. Uh, I don't know. You can <laughs> you don't have to do that one. Um, okay, so now you have a JSONC list, and then it just becomes connected components. So we have the same code as yesterday. Yesterday, I think we do did first search on that problem. So today, let's do depth first search. Um, I actually don't like using depth first search on N is equal to ten to the fifth because in some, um, I mean, I think on the code it's fine, but there is a, a uh, an overhead penalty that's a little, little bit pricey, but also that on some judges, you you know, uh, Python by default only let self recursion up to like a thousand or something, right? So you're going to eat something like that. So I'm going to write it as that for search, but I'm still going to write it iteratively. So put it that way. Um, and also a little bit of spoiler alert, it's still going to look very similar to yesterday's, uh, yesterday's solution. So okay, uh, we put da, 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 visited start is equal to true, right? 
and and then we also want to do count is equal to zero and then we return count at the end that's basically the number of nodes uh let's say one because we assume that start is in whatever i mean we could have just also do if not visited start then we return zero maybe i don't know i don't think that's necessary but it's fine uh and then anyway well greater than zero um now is equal to uh stack dot pop right and then for v in adjacency list of now, if not visited uh, v, um, I think I messed this up. It should be if it's visited. Uh, yeah, if it's not visited, then we increment and then we uh, we increment and then we we can also increment like here. I, I think it doesn't really matter that much. Maybe that's a little bit slightly clear. Um, S dot append v, and that's no, oh, and then we set it to true. And that's most of the problem. And then now we just go from, you know, zero to n or whatever. And then if not visited of i, um, oh yeah, we do a total is equal to zero. And then now, um, let's just say current is equal to that first search of i, right? What does this mean, right? Uh, this means that it returns this disconnected component contains current node. Um, and what that means is that there's current of them and each one of them has n minus current um matching or uh, uh, so one node from this graph will match or will be unreachable to n minus uh current amount of them right so yeah so basically now total we just added to current oops times n minus current and of course in this case um we do double count Unless that's what they want, I don't. I, sometimes some, some graphs want it bi-direction. I don't know, but yeah, we, we do double count because, for example, we'll count zero being unreachable. In, I'm looking at example two. Uh, we will count that zero is unreachable to one, but also one is unreachable to zero. So now we just have to do it by two to kind of, you know. Hmm, that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, hmm. Well, 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 well. That's awkward. Why did I get negative one? That's what I get. Uh, Sixteen. Am I off by something silly? <sighs> okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh, because I did the count as pop. This should be zero. Uh, I changed the end. I, I changed it. Because originally I was going to put it in there, so that's why I start at one. Because there are only two places, I mean, to keep it consistent, there are only two places that, um, you know, you can keep count and you only count one of them, which is either when you unqueue or when you dequeue, or in this case, when you um, push to the top of the stack or when you pop from the top of the stack. You can't do both, and that's basically what I did by accident. Okay, let's run it again. Uh, are there any weird edge cases that I care about? Maybe not. I don't know. Let's run it. Yep, looks good. Uh, 1089. Uh, what did I do last time? Mm, oh, I guess I did do union fine. Mm, that's a cute way of doing it. <clears throat> uh, oh, while I say that then, if... I mean, this is the union fine solution. Um, if you want to know more about the union fine solution, definitely check out my solution. Uh, um, yeah, I mean... Maybe I'll put it in the comments, or you could just search it on YouTube. It should be there uh, during the contest. You can also even see me do it live during the contest, so you could see uh, Larry's speed when he, you know, uh, during a contest in which you know it's there's no way to cheat or something. I mean, I guess there's a way to cheat, but you know what I mean. Um, okay, so what is the complexity here? Well, again, this is just you know a depth first search, so this is going to be v plus y, um, same thing as yesterday, really. To be honest. Um, this is e space, this is v space, or v plus e space already. Um, we don't really do anything more, so that's good. Um, on the time, I mean, that's already v plus e, just allocating the stuff, uh, allocating the space. But, you know, this is going to be at most each node once, um, because you can only get pushed into the stack if it's not visited. So, so and this is a global thing, so that it doesn't get reset. So this is going to be all of v, um, 
Yeah, all of we, and this is all of you in total. Um, also, as yesterday, it could be two of you, but that's still all of you. So, v plus e time and v plus e space, which is linear ish. I say ish because eh, n is always a little bit weird, but you know. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, very similar to yesterday, so hopefully, you did okay. Uh, yeah, if you have, let me know if you have any questions. Um, excuse me. Uh, Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.